apparently t rapper T.I. Um, about a year ago was trying to get into his 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 home. He's a multi-millionaire worth fifty million dollars. You know he does. He's very busy. He's an activist. You know he's an outspoken person. He does rap. He does movies. He's been on TV shows. He does interviews. He travels the world doing concerts. You know he he owns land, and he's only thirty nine years old, and he already owns. He's already worth millions. So he was just he was tired. He was working hard, but he also was out partying. He went to a nightclub, drinking, smoking, dance with girls, having a good time, whatever you know, doing whatever he's doing. He come. The security guard was a black man. He was asleep. He, you know, and uh, T.I. was drunk. He was not in his right mind. So he wanted, he was tired. He wanted to go back to his home to his wife and kids, his family. And the, the security guard didn't let him in because he was scared. Now, because, you know, who knows what was going through his mind. T.I. is a rapper, you know, a rapper. And sometimes people are scared of rappers. You know, I guess the guy, the cop was jealous of him. You know, I don't know why. I mean, for me personally... The, the security guard just saw a young black guy in a very nice car. You know, I've heard people say his car is worth is worth over a hundred thousand dollars. The guy's rich, okay? He can afford that. Um, he can afford nice things because he has money. You know, he's having a good life. Security guard is jealousy. The security guard is is only making ten dollars an hour, while this other black guy, while this other guy is is making a hundred million a, a million a year, two hundred. He, uh, the other guy's making about a hundred, two million a year. He ain't making nothing, you know. <laughs> so he's, you know, he got to do eight-hour shifts and just, you know, he got another, a boring job to do. He's not famous. So a lot of this is jealousy. He knew T.I. was famous, you know, and uh, he wouldn't let T.I. to the gate. He calls the police. He calls trouble. His wife tells him, the hell, that's my husband. Let him in. The security guard didn't listen to his husband, or his wife. His wife was trying to help help him. But he was ignoring it. He calls the cops, and then he tells them that he's being threatened by T.I. T.I. didn't threaten him. He was angry, upset, humiliated, disrespected, and spoiled. You know, he, you know, you know, he owns the land. He said he owns a lot of that land. He lives in a white neighborhood. He's, you know, with all rich white people, so he's living a good life. Even though he grew up in Atlanta, he was poor, homeless. You got the movie ATL. That that movie that came out in 2006. That movie is, is, an, is, an, is, an, is an example of his life, you know, so he didn't grow up rich. He was arrested. He didn't have a father. He grew up motherless, grew up home, you know, grew up, I think grew up homeless. He turned to the streets. He was a drug dealer. He was getting arrested when he was 12, 13 years old. You know, he didn't have a bright future. Um, he was light skinned. A lot of people thought he was mixed, you know, uh, hard. He couldn't have, he had a hard time fitting in because his, he was so light skinned. You know, you know, people say he wasn't black enough, but he proved that he could, that even light-skinned guys can rap, you know. But besides that, he got arrested, you know, um, and he was upset about that. You know, he keep telling them cops, I'm a, I'm a multi-millionaire. Um, and that's pretty much it, you know. He just was arrested because he, the cop didn't know who he was. And then he started yelling at the cop. The cop had, you know, he was hurt, you know, the cop was offended by something he said. And that's it's horrible. It's, it's kind of sad. But what T.I. should have did, T.I. should have called the cops himself. Instead of arguing with the security guard, he should have called the cops. The cops could have came and cleared everything up. That would have that eased the pain, but he was drunk, so he wasn't in his right mind. And I, you know, yeah.